boys and girls, today we're going to be making our very own rain gauge. A rain gauge is something that lets you know how much rain has fallen each day. So you can be your very own meteorologist. A meteorologist is someone that predicts the weather. But a meteorologist also lets us know how much rain or snow has fallen on a particular day, which is also called precipitation. So we better get right at it so I can show you how to make it. You're gonna be needing a two liter bottle, an empty one of course, some water, something to vote on the bottom of your rain gauge. It can be rocks or marbles, or I picked these up at the dollar store. So something that's gonna hold the rain gauge down so it doesn't blow away. Um, food coloring if you want. I also picked up a little tiny ruler. I got this at Hobby Lobby. You don't need a ruler. You can make lines using a ruler that you might have at home and you can draw the lines on the bottle when you're finished as well. But it might be easier just to use a ruler. And some paper clips. Maybe we might be using a dab of glue. All right. So first we have to cut our bottle. You're probably going to need an adult to help you because you shouldn't be using a sharp scissors all on your own. But I am going to cut my bottle right against the label here because that's right when the bottle starts getting a little narrower. So that's what I'm going to use to guide me. All right. I find it easier if I squish the bottle and just make a little slit right on the label. That works. All right, let's see. Then we're gonna cut right on the line. Better move this so you can see as best as possible. And then once it opens up, it becomes a little more easier to cut. Right. Nothing's as easier. Easy. Nothing's as easy as it looks. There we go. All right. I think I'm good to go now. All right. So we're going to be needing the bottom half of this two liter container, but also the top. It's going to act as a funnel to help collect all that water. And it's also going to give this a little more shape. So take the label off. Good to go. All right. So I'm going to take the top that we just cut off. I'm going to place it right inside. All right. And if you want to make sure your edges are perfect, you can fiddle with that. But I think we're good like this. You can just set it in there, but if it gets disturbed, it might fall out. So I'm just going to paper clip the two sides. ready to go. Oh my goodness, silly Mrs. Hamilton. Can't have the top on. Gotta add the stones first. All right, let's put them in. You want to add the stones. See how the bottom is not flat? You want to add it right about. Let's see. coloring. You don't have to do that either. You can make it any color you want. Alright, so this is going to help us see where we're going to put the ruler. Okay, I do not have anything to mix this with. I'll use my permanent marker. Alright, gently pour it in. So I want the rock be completely submerged in the water. All right. Now I can put the top on. 
paper clip it, fasten it in place. We are gonna capture the water on a day when it rains, of course, to find out just how much water actually fell from the sky. How are we gonna tell how much? With our ruler. So, right at the bottom, that's where zero is. So if you were just gonna make the lines with a permanent marker, you would make a line right where the ruler starts. All right, and to make that stay for a minute here, I'm gonna add a little dab of glue. A dab will do you. All right. I'm just gonna put on my glasses so I know just where it starts, because I want this to be accurate. All right, then I'm gonna add a little tape. Got some clear packing tape right here. piece up here. A piece up here. Okay. All right. So now we are ready to get started. So make sure you put this rain gauge out somewhere when it's going to be raining and somewhere safe. In a safe spot where it's not going to get knocked over by a dog or, or someone in your family. Or you don't want it anywhere where some unnecessary water will fall in there from the roof or from somewhere else. So put it somewhere where you know just where it's going to collect the water that falls from the sky. And you can be your very own meteorologist and find out how much water actually fell in a 24-hour period. Now, the National Weather Service uses a rain gauge that's about eight inches wide. Ours is about four inches wide, but it's going to collect the water just the same. So, when you're ready to use it, put it outside in a place where it's not going to be disturbed, and then after 24 hours, you can go out and see where the water level is and find out, do we get an inch of precipitation or a half inch or a centimeter? You will measure and find out. And then you can compare it with what they said fell in your area. This should be a great learning experience for you and you can be your very own meteorologist. So I hope you had fun and I'll see you next time.